target field is bustling, and after a one-day delay, it's your Minnesota Twins 2023 home opener as the defending World Series champion Houston Astros are in town. Pitching be the right-hander veteran, Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray in the second start, already 1-0. Last year, went 8-5. and five. Jeremy Pena. Swing and a miss, and a good start for Sonny Gray. Bragman hitting 138 on the year, 4 for 29. Started off 0 for 18. Bregman to right, shallow. Joey Gallo, his first action in right as a twin, makes a running catch. Ball four, four pitch walk to Alvarez. Now Jose Abreu. The one two, he got him with a breaking ball. Sonny Gray strikes out two. Astros don't score, and they leave one. And your pitcher for the Astros is going to be Jose Arquiti, making his second start of the season. Bucks in two walks, six strikeouts. That one popped high in the air. Playable for David Hensley as he drifts a little bit and stays with it for the first out. Carlos played against them at Minute Maid Park, but has not played against the Astros as a home Minnesota twin. Hensley this time, the ball not as high in the air, doesn't have to battle the win. And now Trevor Larted. And Urquidy comes back from a 3-1 count to strike out Larnick and end the inning. Tucker has hit a home run in back-to-back -back games. His career high is three straight, a chance to match that today at Target Field where he's had success, but this time bounces one on one hop to the third baseman, Jose Miranda. I'll bring up David Hensley. Breaking ball, strike three, locking up Hensley, third strikeout for Gray. Here's Chaz McCormick. Strike three, call. A one, two, three seconds. Sonny Gray has fanned four. Mauricio Dubon. Dubon sends one to right field. Pretty well hit. Gallo back, and he will watch it sail over his head. Mauricio heading to second, and he will get there with a head first slide. A leadoff double for the Astros here in the third inning. Now Martin Maldonado will bat. Aldi showing bun. He wants to get the runner to third, and a sacrifice is put down by Martin Maldonado. Moves the runner over to third base with one out. Jeremy four runs batted in on the year. And he gets painted to go out to that 2-2 pitch. Now well, Bregman drills one to right field. Gallo will have no chance. He watches it over his head. Alex has to put the brakes on. But that's an RBI single for Alex Bregman as the Astros take a 1-0 lead. That's what we're accustomed to seeing from this Astros lineup. They're able to pick each other up. Alvarez has not seen a strike yet. Four pitch walk his first time up. Alvarez on a 2-0 pitch sends one to center field playable for Michael A. Taylor who puts it away for the final out of the inning but the Astros get a big two out RBI by Alex Bregman and take a one nothing lead. Urquidy has yet to allow a hit and now his former teammate Christian Vasquez. Now goes Vasquez as he strikes out on three pitches Jose Urquidy picks up his third strikeout. Hot shot left side and through base hit. First base runner for the Twins today, a two out single for Michael A. Taylor. Line to left field, a base hit. Back to back sharp singles. Taylor now Buxton. Two on two out, Twins down one. The one two, Correa strikes out swinging. Off speed from Urquidy, back to back hits. But the Twins remain scoreless after three. Sonny Gray has struck out five in the first three innings. Here's Kyle Tucker who grounded out his first time up. Tucker sends one to deep right field. Joey Gallo will look up, and that's high off the wall. Tucker's going to have to hustle to get into second. Gallo's got a good arm. Tucker just beats the throw. Correa tried to make the tag on his former teammate, but Tucker slides in safely with a one-out double. He is getting off to a very good start. Rocco Baldelli says they want to look at this. He thinks that Carlos Correa got the tag on Tucker before he got into second base. Carlos didn't pop up as if he was convinced about it, but maybe he did. Gallo did a great job of playing it off that right field wall. I don't know if it's on him in enough time to be able to overturn that. And here comes the call. After review, the call on the field stands. The runner is safe. Minnesota loses their challenge. Here's David Hensley. Did he go? He did. Strikeout number seven from Gray. Another strikeout coming with his breaking ball. Tucker at second, two out. And the 3 2 pitch. He struck him out swinging. Eight strikeouts for Sonny Gray. Yeah, for the second time in two innings, the Twins have two on. It's one out. And the batter will be Kyle Farmer. 1 0 Astros here in the fourth. Farmer in the air to left. Alvarez did not see it initially. Now he does, battling the sun and makes the catch. And Vasquez will bat with the bases loaded. And the 0 2 pitch has popped up. Does anybody see it? 
Coming in is Hensley at first, and he'll make the grab. But the Twins are now 0 for 8 this season, batting with the bases loaded. 2 2, swing and a miss. Strikeout number 9 for Gray again, off speed. Breaking ball, strike three. A 10 strikeout home opener for Sonny Gray. Now the 2 2. He struck him out swinging. Gray strikes out the side. Five straight strikeouts dating back to the fourth. On a hanging sweeper, Michael A. Taylor is two for two. A good start to the fifth. Tying run at second, nobody out. A swing and a weak ground ball hit the mound at short. Pena charging, throwing, and it's in time. Down to third goes Taylor. Ray now one for 13 against his former team, trying to change that right now. And the 2 2 pitch. He struck him out swinging on a changeup. Swung on, tap weakly back to Urquidy. He'll make the play, lobbing to first, and the Twins squander a leadoff double. Pinch hitter Nick Gordon with two on, one out. And the pitch on the ground towards the hole at short. Pena has its second one, and that's all that the Astros do get as Solano moves to third to Vasquez and the 1 0. And that one gets away from Maldonado to the net. Solano scores. It's a 1 1 game. Pretty big misfire. Maldonado just tries to get it with his glove, doesn't get his chest over there squared up. Two on, two out. Swing and a foul tip caught by Maldonado. That will end the inning. Taylor goes down on strikes, but the Twins tie it up. Strike three call. There it is. 13 strikeouts for Sonny Gray. A new career best. And could not be more delighted that Sonny Gray has done for the game. Seven innings, 98 pitches, a run on four hits, a walk, and a career high 13 strikeouts for Sonny Gray. Ryan Presley entering the game out of the bullpen here as he takes over in the bottom half of the ninth inning. And he gets up. Vasquez goes down swinging. High octane pitchers trying to close out games like Ryan Presley. He picks up a strikeout there. And he strikes out the side. That'll send us to extras all tied at one. David Hensley, the automatic runner. Hensley will advance to third base as Chaz McCormick hits a ground ball to the right side. That is a nice job by Chaz moving the runner along. Mauricio Dubon will be the batter with the infield drawn in. And Dubon hits one through the drawn in infield for a base hit to left field. Mauricio Dubon scores David Hensley with an RBI single. It's 2-1 Astros in the 10th. That's exactly the problem with having that infield in is that it creates more opportunities and open space for ground balls to get through, and Dubon picks it up. Now Maldonado, runner goes, and the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Farmer backhand stumbles, finds his footing, and throws out Maldonado. Wow. That was a good play by Farmer. Dubon was on the move. Farmer made that play on the third base side of second. This is Jeremy Pena bad. Comes home with a 1 2 pitch. A swing and a fly ball. Center field playable. Taylor in the sunshine. Out number three. But the Astros get one. Buxton will be the runner at second base. Strike three called. 99. Correa. 0 for 5. Strikes out for the third time today. Now the 1 0 pitch. And that's missed by Maldonado. Off his glove. And Byron moves to third. And now the winning run is on. And here's Jose Miranda. Two on, one out, and the 1-1. One, one. Line drive, base hit, right field. Buxton scores. Larnick to second, Miranda. Fired up at first, as is the dugout. It's a 2-2 game. Well, this is why I believe he's going to be a good hitter in the big leagues for a long time. There's not many guys that can take a pitch that well located, hit it with authority the other way. But he will be a run producer because he has the ability to hit the ball to all fields. Now the bases are going to be loaded for the new twin and Kyle Farmer. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit center field. Lordick scores. Twins win. Twins win. An opening day. Minnesota Twins walk off win. Great to be back in downtown Minneapolis. And Farmer delivers a walk off 10th inning base hit. Lardick scores and the Twins win 3-2 and 10.